packing her bags for a prison at home. Patricia Calvino has for the past three years been incarcerated in Peru for drug trafficking. But the 26-year-old's family is thousands of miles away in her native Spain. Since being caught in Lima, she's been counting the days until she can see her family again, especially her young daughter, who was just a few months old when she was arrested for being a drug mule. It's a special thing to be able to go home. Really, it's a nervous moment. I'm anxious. I can't look at the time. The days are never ending. I don't sleep. I feel stressed. I can't imagine the hour when I can arrive in Spain and hug my family. That long-awaited trip arrived Thursday. Patricia and 30 other Spaniards were transferred to a plane headed for Spain. They'll serve out their sentences in Spanish prisons. Many of them are serving time for cocaine trafficking. Peruvian authorities said the largest repatriation in Spanish history is, above all, a humanitarian one. The prisoners will go on to serve their sentences, but in their home countries. This serves a humanitarian role to facilitate resocialization because being close to family creates a bond that leads to changes in conduct. Peru is the second largest cocaine producer in the world. Much of it arrives in Europe via Spain, with traffickers preying on Spaniards in need of cash to serve as mules. Currently, there are more than 200 Spanish citizens, more than any other foreign country, serving sentences in Peru.